What you're about to see is what I believe to be the biggest leap forward with AI video editing. Because what Riverside has done is they've taken the complex process of filming videos and editing them and have completely simplified it with AI to where a non-techie person can create good content. And I'll be honest, I am pitched all the time by brands to do sponsored videos on their new AI tool and most of them turn out to suck. And when Riverside was like, look, we have a new AI tool that makes editing easier. It was like, okay, sure. Let's, let's go check this out and see what it's like. Only this time it's actually good. And I'm gonna quit hyping it up. I'm gonna show you the tool, show you how it works. Also, thanks to Riverside for sponsoring this video. All right, so here I am inside of Riverside and here's a video that I actually filmed inside of Riverside. So recorded it here upload it right to my Riverside account, and we're gonna go in and edit this video. So I'm just gonna click edit here and open up the editor. Now the new feature they just released is co-creator up here. So if I click on this, it actually opens up an AI assistant who I can just talk to to help me edit my videos. So I don't have to go and figure out like the, the cutting and what all these different tools and buttons do. I can just talk naturally to this assistant and it's going to edit the video for me. So to start, I'm going to say remove bad takes and we'll click send here. Give it a second. So here it just identified that I repeated myself here and it's asking me to remove this. I'll just click apply. Boom, that's removed. And then actually throughout the rest of the video, I don't make a mistake. So it, it got it perfectly. Now I want to remove silences from the video. I don't want to go through and cut this. So I'm going to say remove silences, send. And in just a few seconds, boom, all the silent parts are completely removed. It literally cuts it perfectly. Now, if you don't know what to type, there is also the suggestions button here. So you can click on this and I'll show you different suggestions you can do. So one is improve sound. I actually didn't use my no, no, normal microphone for this. So let's actually improve sound. So I'm gonna click improve sound here and it's gonna go through and apply a correction to my voice to make it sound better. Now we do have to give it a minute here to apply it to all the clips, but you can also click on AI tools over here and you'll see uh, all of the different options here. Looks like it did finish the magic audio enhancement. Let's take a listen uh, from the beginning here with this applied. Let's see how good it sounds. On YouTube, 88% of all the videos uploaded have less than 1,000 views. Why is that the case? Well, it actually all comes down to one Insane. And maybe, maybe you don't like how clear that is. Maybe you want it to be a little more natural. You can always click over here on AI tools and go to the magic audio here and you can adjust how powerful you want that effect if you want. Let's also add some captions to our video. So I'm gonna type add captions. We'll send that off. And now it's asking me what kind of style I want. I'm gonna go for professional and we'll see what kind of captions it gives here. Awesome. And if I ever want to adjust these too, I can always go down the captions here. And I can easily switch these to, like I like these Hormozy style captions. As you can see, if I scroll through the video, it's going to highlight all the words as I am talking, which is just awesome. What about adding music to your video? I can go to Code Create. And I could add, add music that's deep thinking. You know, I kind of want a, a nice uh, background, deep thinking as I'm talking about these tactics and strategies. So it's thinking through what to add. It's adding audio in for me. So it told me it added this song in, set volume to 0 0.6 with a fade in and fade out. And if I want to make adjustments, I can just click on the three dots on, on this uh, audio. But let's take a listen. Let's see how this sounds. On YouTube, 88% of all the videos uploaded have less than 1,000 views. Why is that the case? Well, it actually all comes down to one simple issue. People make content they want to make and not the content people want to watch. And I think that's pretty decent. You know, it's designed to be a background track, but if I ever want to change that, I can also go to music and just pick a difference on here and easily add it to my project. Now you can also use this to add B-roll to your clips. Instead of you having to look through and search for B-roll that works, you just go to any part of your video, which I have right here where I talk about making uh, what people actually want to watch. So I clicked on the what word here and I'm gonna go to co-creator and I'm just gonna click add B-roll of someone watching something on TV, all right? Just to show what people wanna watch. And so it is gonna go looking through all the B-roll and find something that's gonna work for our video. And there we go, just added some B-roll in. I can also trim it if I want here. Now I probably don't want all that stock footage, so I can usually just trim this back to probably like right here. I feel like that'll be pretty good. 
Let's see it with that. Shift from making what I want to make to making what people actually want to watch, then also your 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 mindset shifts and the things you care about shift. So now I'm paying attention. Boom, just added. So I can easily go through all my footage and start adding different B-roll in by just talking to Code Creator. Now on top of all of this, it gets even better with the suggestions tab down here. So obviously you have all these different themes you can enhance. You can go through here, remove pauses, you know, do all these different effects, easily helps, eye contact, different stuff like that. But what you can also do is go to the promote tab and you can literally have co-creator make you content for Facebook, for Instagram, for your YouTube community tab, for your email newsletter, and have it create content for you. So let's choose, uh, let's do a LinkedIn post. I'll have it create us a LinkedIn post here. So it's gonna go through my content and it's gonna create that off of the information I presented. Did you know that 80% of YouTube videos have less than 1,000 views? For years, I was part of that statistic, creating content I watched rather than what viewers needed. And so it's gonna go through and I could literally copy and paste this or I can make my own adjustments if there's different things I wanna change. But this gives me an incredible starting point that simplifies that creation point or maybe I want an email newsletter set up I can do newsletter email and it's gonna again take that same information and try and construct it into a newsletter so hi first name are you struggling to get views on YouTube you're not alone 80% of videos have less than 1,000 views but there's a way to change that that is an incredible hook for an emails newsletter like that is a great start you're struggling with this you're not alone there's a lot of people who have this problem, but there's a way to change that. And then I can get into the content or, you know, continue going through this. So not only is just creating the video simplifying your life, but you can take the information and apply it to your other platforms, to your email list, and be able to create multiple pieces of content from one single video. And on top of that, if you go back here, you can actually create magic clips from your long form video that you filmed inside of Riverside. So you can literally create short form content from your videos. So we're gonna say nine by 16 auto. We're just gonna click generate clips here and it's gonna go through. Now, mind you, my video is only three minutes long. So it, you know, there's not as much content that it can work off of. But if you do film something that's 10, 15, 20 minutes long, there's a lot more clips it can generate. So it actually generated one here. Let's just click play on it and see what it's like. For years, I was just posting content I wanted to make and it wouldn't get views. And once I made a shift to, what if I just made videos that actually help people, that solve their problems, that gives them the information they want or the entertainment value they want, that's when my views started to shift. That's, that's a that's great, uh, opening line there. And I can also go in and I can edit this short. So if I want, I can tell it, you know, to add, add captions to my short here. And it actually placed them down the middle, but I can just grab these. I can drag these down. I can also increase the size of these a bit. Now, if I click play here. For years, I was just posting content I wanted to make and it wouldn't get viewed. Boom. And this is something I could easily start sharing. If I want to go through and have code create, improve the audio, add the B-roll, go through all that stuff, I can just do that in here too. And I honestly think now you can really rely on Riverside, not just as a, as a recording software or as somewhere to live stream. Like you can use it to literally film, edit, have AI edit through your videos using the, the code creator tool. It can make your shorts. It can help you with your newsletter and making just content to post on social media platforms to get attention. Like it literally does so much. And if you actually want to try this out, I do have a link in the description. It should also have a coupon code down there as well to help you save some money for signing up. But I highly recommend checking this out, using it for yourself, see if it works for you. I'm definitely gonna be using some of these features to help myself actually create content and get stuff out there. And if you're actually curious about some of the other use cases like the live streaming capabilities, I actually did a video on that not too long ago. If you wanna click here, you can actually go and check out that video as well.